Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are here in Feather Clan which is the newly named clan if you guys remember Thimbleweed and Spotridge formerly of Wind Clan are raising their medicine cats secret kits together. These two tom cats have been doing an excellent job and we have little hope kit, brave kit, and joy kit currently bundled up against the snowy cold and wrapped up in lots and lots and lots of feathers which um which is why we're called Feather Clan. I actually think that's really cute and Thimbleweed really loves collecting feathers so thankfully he's able to watch after the little ones like this. But we have got a very interesting day today my friends because we have rolled another random event and today's random event and let's go ahead and talk to Spotridge so he can tell us all about it. Seems to be that there is trouble finding food in all of the clan's territories right now. It seems as though food is hard for all the clans to find this leaf bear. There isn't so much as a mouse tail to be found in any of the clan territories. But I've heard rumor of a strange two-leg place where rats and mice live year-round. Though it's dangerously close to Shadow Clan territory and across Thunderpath. Ah, so there we go. All right, guys. Welcome back to Untold Tales. Today, we are trying out the new fancy random generators that I have been working on in the background, which basically just involves a piece of paper helping me figure out which one of the uh, dice numbers will do what. And today's special event is the fact that we can only hunt at the dump. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. We do have to start off our morning here in the clan by eating enough food to take care of all of our kittens and ourselves. But thankfully, we have rabbits. So we have three rabbits and we've got, let's see, each rabbit is worth two food because we can share between two cats and we've got five cats. So unfortunately, I have to eat all three rabbits. Gosh darn it. <laughs> that uses up all of our food for the day and I need to make sure that we get food before tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get to work. We can also gather up some feathers while we're at it. But the random generator, which like I said, is just a piece of paper with a whole bunch of really fun ideas for what could happen depending on what the dice number says, did say that today we are going to have uh, the issue of only being able to hunt at the dump. And actually, let me go ahead and add this bramble up here. We can pretend these apples are like berry bushes. And I'm pretty excited about that because we're going to have fun and a lot of you guys request that I make the random generators public. So I wanted to let you know I am currently beginning the plans to work on a website and hopefully that website will have a special section where I will add the downloads for our warrior cats from the Sims 3 warrior cats. We'll add in the downloads for the dogs from our 101 Sims 3 Dalmatians challenge. And I will have a spot where you can have the random generators. We might make our own like warrior cat name generator there's a ton of them out there but we might be able to make one that's like even bigger and you can set different parameters for it like a uh, maybe you could have like ocean based cats could be one of the options you could pick or maybe you could pick like forest based cats or like dark named cats different things like that might start showing up and we would have random generators for what you could have happen in your warrior cats the untold tales your cat tales i hope you guys are excited Cattails is definitely greenlit and it has reached its quota on uh, the Kickstarter too. So Cattails, which is being worked on and made by the same person, Falcon Star, who made this game, he's going to make a whole new cat game. I'm so excited, you guys. I am just so thrilled. And let's try to get away from, oh, there it is. All right, is it gonna destroy? Yep, there we go. Okay, let's dash across. I don't want to get stepped on or I guess run over. But yeah, Cattails is actually made uh, by Falcon Star, who made this game. So I'm super excited to see where it goes. And it looks like both Wind Clan and Shadow Clan have found us. So we've made our way to the dump, aka the barn. And we are only going to be able to take care of our clan with the food that we find in here. So let's search around really carefully. This is the first time Thimbleweed has come this far. Maybe we'll be able to find... Oh, look at that cute little tea kettle. But that's not going to feed my kittens. Ah! All right, maybe if we grab this, I wonder, oh look, there's a squirrel. Oh, thank goodness, squirrels are like so filling. These must be huge fox squirrels, like the ones I have in my yard. And then I wonder how often, oh good, it looks like that wing clan cat left. Wonderful, let's try to sneak back home. Whoa, run for it. <laughs> Careful there, Thimbleweed. All right, dash across the underpath. Ah, run. <laughs> I don't want him to get run over, thank goodness. No, run for it, it's Hillheart, one of the wing clan cats. 
I, I don't think we have to fight them today. Oh, I forgot to add that to my random generators. So for those of you who also do things the way I'm currently doing them, where you just have like a piece of paper and a dice that you roll, I have three random generators. One determines where we can hunt for the day. I'm going to change the territory we can hunt in every day. Thus today we're hunting around the dump or the barn. Uh, I hope this is enough food to feed everybody. Thankfully, Thankfully, we had enough food left over from the day before, so at worst, we weren't going to starve today. And mice feed one kit each. They're getting a little bit big, though. I wonder what time is it? We might have enough time. Spot Ridge, keep an eye on them. We might have enough time to gather up a few more... A few more feathers. Whoa! Wind Clam was right on our tail there. Huh. They must be really hungry, too, and searching for more food. And let's see, but I have a random generator to determine where we are allowed to hunt. And it goes uh, Thunder Clan, River Clan, Wind Clan, Shadow Clan, the dump, aka the barn, or anywhere. And then I have another random generator to determine what type of event we have. And then a third one to determine, ooh, we need to run away. I don't want to have to fight Wind Clan. And a third one to determine if it's a negative or positive event and how severe the event is. Let's gather up more feathers. We'll take him back home. We were supposed to get food from the dump, but it's the usual thimbleweed thing to get distracted by the feathers instead. Oh my gosh, there's so many feathers! Thimbleweed, you just can't help yourself. Look at you. We need to gather all these feathers. Oh my goodness. All right, that makes me super happy. But it, oh, there's even more over here. I think he would feel a little bit awkward about um, bringing home so many feathers because Spot Ridge might have a little bit to say about that. So let's go ahead and have him drop them down over here and we can slowly but surely restore Thimbleweed's Ridge to being what it used to be. We collected up a ton of the feathers from over here to make sure that our kits would stay nice and warm in Leaf Bear. All right, there we go. Good. But now we can start sprinkling in some of this wonderful fever few. And we can also sprinkle in a whole bunch of the feathers once more and restore. Oh, there's another piece down there. I'm just going to snag this bramble and I'm going to snag this feather. I know I should be more worried about taking care of the kits, but it's just really hard for Thimbleweed. He loves the life he lives. And if we had extra food, we could have actually put it out to invite a new kit in. You guys did vote on that, adding more kits into their clan, which would be very fun. As whoa, whoa, run for it! It's a shadow clan, shadow clan, wind clan fight. Run! Under the cover of darkness, maybe they didn't recognize us, and we'll be able to escape. But yeah, those are the three random generators I have right now. One to determine what territory we get to hunt in, one to determine uh, what event it's going to be, one to determine the severity of the event, if it's a good event or a bad event. And then another one, let's actually stack these bird feathers. I need to make another one to determine um, who we have to fight, if anybody, for the day. Like if we run into a certain type of clan, we might have to fight them for that day. Just because otherwise I'm apt to run away from all of the battles instead of actually try to improve my skills. <sighs> it's a little bit of a bad habit I have. All right, let's sprinkle these bird feathers around. We can put down another thicket. Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge have a really messy camp like this because they're trying very, very hard to make sure that everybody stays nice and safe. Come on. And you try to make it look more like a hidden forest as a result. All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Then we'll have to eat our food for the day. Everybody good? Good, all right. Yep, Hope Kid, Brave Kid, uh, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit. Uh, they're gonna be apprentices once Leaf Bear's over. I just can't believe that. They're gonna grow up so fast. And let's go ahead and eat the food for the day. So the squirrel is worth three food. We could say the kits share that. And then the frog is actually only worth one food and so is the mouse. So we'll save the frog and we will eat both the mice and the squirrel. And that feeds the entire clan for the day. And I think one meal a day like that is enough to keep track of. And then we are free once more and we will continue the event until the end of today's episode. So we can only hunt over at the dump and we can collect up feathers if we want to. And we can try to prepare. Now, what's going to happen is in the future, if there's events related to health, and I happen to have enough of the herbs to take care of it, then we won't have to worry. We can just cure the cat. Having a really wonderfully stocked medicine cat area is going to help us out there. But if there are events, ooh, and even like if we have Prey. Yes, we had prey buried. Oh, you look at that, guys. Thimbleweed got so lucky. Whoa, not lucky, not lucky. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, thank goodness, we got away. Ah, car. Oh, watch out for that monster. All right, keep moving. Poor Thimbleweed, he's a bit of a nervous cat. 
but if we had prey buried and hidden somewhere, that would be great. And some of the events, I, again, I'm going to try to write this random generator up so that I can share it with you guys, make that website. You guys can go there. You can see like the Siri Pixel Biology website and you'll be able to see like all of the options for your Untold Tales cats too. And one of the events may be that all of the prey from the prey pile goes bad because of the summer heat, or I should say because of the green leaf heat, and, or it could have gotten stolen by like a very fat raccoon. A very fat raccoon could break into your camp and steal all of your prey. That could be something that could happen. So if you have prey buried in hidden catches throughout the world, then you can go like we just did with the squirrel and you can fetch that and bring it back to camp and be able to take care of your cats that way. All right, let's walk up here. And then I think I'm gonna bring the thicket over here and drop it like right there and then just decorate down at the bottom because we're trying to make sure we hide our camp. And then I better send Thimbleweed out because we still need one more piece of food if we're gonna have enough food to feed everybody in the morning. Come on, Moss, come on. Ah, it doesn't want to come down. All right, let's wiggle this way. We'll drop off the squirrel. I'll be back, Spot Ridge. And then we'll go down this direction this time, searching for anything we can bring back to camp. But yeah, I need to make another random generator so that if we run into a, a certain clan, then we have to fight them for that day. We can't choose to run away. And I really love it though, because I love how those random generators can bring the stories to life. Oh my goodness. Though speaking of bringing the stories to life, I hope you guys have loved the preview of Cattails. I am totally in love with it. There are so many more features run across the Thunderpath. There we go. Thank goodness. There's so many, many, many more features that are going to be added in. Run, 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 run. Still more running. <laughs> Lots of running involved. Lots of escape. But there's a lot of features that are going to be added into the game that we actually didn't get to see. <gasps> Is there no more food? Oh, there's a whole mouse. Thank goodness. That's just enough food to feed everybody for another day. But otherwise, yeah, otherwise looks like there's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, can we escape without getting attacked? I guess if we get attacked, like if a cat runs up to us, can I drink this? Ew. Apparently you can't drink that swamp water. But I guess if a cat runs up to us and scratches us, we'll have to fight back. But Thimbleweed's not really, woo -hoo -hoo, he's not really much of a fighter. And it seems like Shadow Clan is really out in force. They must be pretty hungry right now. Since all of the clans are under that cursed event where there's just not enough food for everyone. All right, let's see. Anything down here? Oh, <gasps> Ban the Spirit! Oh, hey, what you doing here, buddy? Uh, let's see. And we could change our pelt color if we wanted, but I think I'm okay. Hey, Trainer Tune, and let's see. Oh, we've got lots of experience points. I think I'm gonna actually add to his speed and make the sprint a little faster. Oh, but we're so close to being able to level up our basic attack. <gasps> we're gonna save that and level up basic attack instead because that will actually help whichever cat inherits Thimbleweed's save file next. And the next cat we are going to have is either going to be a kitty pet or a shadow clan cat. And yes, speaking of cattails, a lot of you guys are panicking like no theory what's going to happen to untold tales i know warrior cat sims 3 is coming back and i know that cat tales is going to come out but i love untold tales we are still continuing on with untold tales as long as your guys support and excitement is there then of course we're going to keep going don't worry breathe deeply everyone it'll be all right all right come on come on moss okay doesn't look like we're getting any moss from that so we're just gonna have to leave this okay maybe now dang it all right We'll just leave that there. There's so many feathers! Where did you all come from? I want all of you. All right, we're gonna have to bring these feathers with us. I have no idea why there were just a bunch of feathers on the ground. Oh, there's another feather. Mm. Okay, we'll collect those up later. Let's keep making like a cute little stack of bushes over here. I like how we can change the ecosystem of the area that we get to run by. And that means whatever cat inherits Thimbleweed's save file, once his life has kind of come to its natural, like, story arch end, well, we'll get to see all these beautiful brambles and all these bits of moss and everything, as long as, like, the other clans don't run across it and steal everything. Alright, so we're back home again. But yeah, don't panic, guys! There are- oh, look at- look at Feather Clan. Isn't this just, just a beautiful clan? I'm so happy to see them. 
I just really love the way their whole area is so playful and full of feathers. They've got their little hidden area. They've got their little hidden camp. And I'm really excited to see about if we're able to start getting a surplus of all sorts of delicious prey. Uh, though I'm not really one for eating mice. But if we get a surplus of prey, then we'll be able to start putting them down and seeing if we can rescue more kittens that Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed can bring into the clan. Uh, so yes, don't worry guys, even though Cattails is out with its demo and we are going to be keeping a close eye on when the beta and the alpha versions are going to come out hopefully later this year, I am still going to continue on with Untold Tales as long as your guys' comments and support and happiness is there because that's truly what weaves together such an amazing story with your guys' role plays and suggestions and fan art. It's just fantastic. So let's let these cats go ahead and get some rest, and then I will see you guys next time when we will return to Apple Clan and see what our wonderful Apple Star and his growing daughters are doing. Until next time, guys, bye bye! <laughs>